Hello there, you're watching Dansky, and in this two minute tutorial, we're going to learn a cheeky way to create guides in XD. Now you can do this with the line tool or the rectangle tool. Let's just grab that rectangle tool and we'll draw a rectangle, set the width to either 0.5 or one for some nice thin guides. And we can deselect the fill and change the border color to a nice bright cyan, something very similar to a lot of other Adobe apps. Now we'll drag this guide up into the top left corner and check the X and the Y position of the line is at zero. And the height just needs to match your artboard. So in this case, 667, or you can just select your artboard to get the width and the height values here. So we can now click on this line and we can add 30 to the X, depending on the margin that you'd like. So this is now 30 pixels in, it might be 20, it might be 40 or you can hold shift and press the right arrow key three times. Every time you hold shift and press the arrow key, it will move your object 10 pixels in any direction. So we can hold alt and shift and drag this out to the right edge and then hold shift and use that left arrow key, one, two, three. And again, hold alt and shift to create a copy, rotate this 90 degrees in the properties panel and just set the width or the height in this case to 375. When you start rotating shapes in XD, width and height can become confusing, but we can then align this centrally to the top and hold shift one, two, three on the down, hold alt and shift to duplicate. And with this at the bottom, hold shift and press up one, two, three. And we can drag over our guides and from the asset panel, we can create a new symbol and you can't see the preview here because it's very, very thin, these lines, but there is a preview there. And now what we can do is select our artboard and go to edit, duplicate. Duplicate this a bunch of times so you might have 30, 40, 50 screens in your app. And what we can now do is double click on the symbol to go inside it. And we could even add some more lines and you can see any changes that I make. If I adjust these margins, these guides, it updates all of those changes on every single artboard. And we can double click again to go inside and we can even add the color here as well. So we can go and edit this color and it updates that guide color on every single artboard. And all we do is simply click on our symbol marked with a green line. And from the layers panel, we can lock this just so we don't select it by mistake when working on our design. And there we go, there's a cheeky way to create guides in Adobe XD.